So, Gar, Troy Parrish um, made his Premier League debut coming on uh, after 85 minutes against Delhi Alley. Um, what an occasion to come on for your Premier League debut at 17, Jose Mourinho giving you your debut. Uh, what, what did you make of it? Well, it's fantastic. And I, to be honest, I was disappointed when Jose Mourinho got the, the Tottenham job mm. because his history and his reputation is more of buying in players than giving youth a chance. Whereas I, I kind of thought Pochettino would have used Troy quite a bit. It was great to see and it was a fantastic gesture that he took the ball off Son and, and gave it to Troy as well. Yeah. Um, and Troy, I believe, is going to start against Bayern in the Champions League as well, which um, hopefully, anyway, that's going to be, that would be fantastic. It, it's great to see. I mean, I, you f I sometimes forget Troy is only 17. He won't be 18 until February. He has been the great hope, I suppose, of, of Irish football now for um, a, a couple of years. I mean... No, I'd say a year. I um, well, I, mean, I remember seeing him actually nearly scoring... F free kick against, I think it was Turkey down in Galway, oh, that's yeah, under that, 15 yeah. level and I mean there was a lot of talk about him at that stage and that's that's almost, it's it's that was I think February, March of 2018 I believe, I'd have to look that up but certainly he's been talked about since since he was 15. And yeah but I think he's a realistic prospect probably. As a, well time. yeah I mean and he's obviously come on so much, he, he was brilliant, he was the star of the under 17 Euros in England in 2018. Is that um, the game, uh, the tournament when we played Holland? And when we played Holland and yeah. Jimmy Corcoran got sent off. Jimmy yeah. Corcoran was probably the story of that yeah. from the penalty no, he scored shootout. The against Holland, yeah. He did and he scored I think three or four goals in that yeah. tournament as well. I mean and we got, we, we lost in the quarterfinals on penalties probably disgracefully with the way it happened but um, I think that showed that Martin O'Neill got on the pitch to actually have a go at the yeah. referee at, at the end <laughs> he did yeah. That's, uh, but, yeah but I mean we did really well we, we people forget we did really well in that tournament I mean the Dutch went on to win it and I mean they, they only beat us on penalties we had yeah, um, we had them on the ropes like. yeah I mean we beat Denmark in that as well which uh, what a rare win over Denmark I suppose unfortunately not at senior level yeah. but um, close to it though yeah, yeah, we did come close, but yeah. So Troy, Troy is certainly one of the great hopes um, for the future. It's certainly not inconceivable that he could be playing in Slovakia in the playoff. I, I think he would need to get more game time. Um, it's great that hopefully he will start against Bayern. That, that that's if it, that seems to be all the indications are that he will. Well, he said that Harry Kane won't start. Um, I, or I don't know if he said start or play, but he basically he hinted at without actually saying it. Yeah. Um, you know, Troy Parrott himself will know if he's starting or not by, I'd say tomorrow, the very latest. Um, so I think from that point of view that he, well, one of the questions that was kind of put to us was, uh, will Mourinho give Poch or will Mourinho give Troy more time than? Pochettino. I think that's very obvious now that he's already given him this. Well, ho hopefully, and I mean, I, I'm looking to the FA Cup as well, that the Tottenham were away to Middlesbrough in the third round. And typically the, the top six teams, which Tottenham are certainly one of them, maybe not in the table at the moment, but they're not far yeah, off it. Yeah. They, they, they do tend to Champions give... Champions League finals last year. Yeah, so. I mean, they are. They're, no doubt they're a top team. They, that they typically do tend to give... The younger players are run or the I suppose what Troy is at the moment is a fringe player at Tottenham. He's in the squad, he's in or around the match day squad. Typically he would get to play in the FA Cup. I suppose my concern and the reason he may not is that I think Tottenham are desperate to win a trophy. They haven't won a trophy, I think, since is it two thousand and eight in the, the League Cup. And the FA Cup is their one chance, real, sorry, realistic chance. I know they're in the Champions League and I know they're already in the knockout stages and that's why Troy is, is going to be playing. But a realistic chance to bring a trophy to Tottenham, I think, or the most realistic chance would be the FA Cup. And Middlesbrough away is one of those tricky ties that you probably couldn't get away with making nine or ten changes, so maybe he'll make three or four changes. Certainly, I'd love to see Troy starting rather than maybe yeah, keep Harry see, Kane on the bench. But he but still could, because, you know, you look at 
other than Kane, they don't have a now, now, you know, player that can play that position. And Troy is second in command. Yeah, he, he does seem to be. And I mean, I, I, if I was Jose Mourinho, well, I know my bias, Irish bias or whatever, I would start Troy and maybe have Harry Kane on the bench. And if they get into trouble after 60, 70 minutes to bring Harry Kane on at that stage. Because he, he does need to give Harry Kane a break as well. I mean, he's play, Kane is playing week in, week out for England, for Tottenham, the league, Champions he's League, etc. Yeah, injuries so. over the last few months as well. So Harry Kane has. Yeah, well, I wouldn't want to wish an injury on anyone. No, no, but, yeah, but I would hope been. that Troy would be the, could get a, a run of games then, or at least get a, a couple of games. Um, the, the problem is Tottenham are playing on so many fronts. I mean, they're... They're in the Champions League. They're already in the knockout phases. They're battling probably for top four, realistically. They're well out of the title, title race, but they have still have a very good chance of getting top four. They are probably going to be more desperate to win the FA Cup than any club in England, I think, this season. Other I think, than Everton, maybe? I think Everton, even Everton. I think Everton are probably going to be more focused on, on league and staying up. Yeah, sorry, Paul, but they oh, are. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> but... Um, so I think the FA Cup is probably more important to Tottenham this season than anybody else. And I think that may be reflected in Jose's uh, team selection. He hasn't got a reputation of giving youth its head. And I, I don't know the stories well, he, he has, may have. Like, a lot you of know, he played a lot of young players. You know what I mean? There was players coming through that didn't really get a, a run in um, on the previous managers. You know what I mean? Like, there was... <laughs> He was, there was people saying that he wasn't going to play this fella, that fella, and Rashford and all these, and he, and he did. So I don't know, like, as you, as managers get older, they do change their ways okay. in, in some aspects, you know what I mean? Um, I've seen people comment and going, oh, well, Chelsea done this and that, but he's done different things since he's left Chelsea, do you know what I mean? Um, also, he he did a pre- or he did an interview with a reporter after, either before the game, I think it was before the game where Troy made his debut, and he was asked about youth and he was smiling to himself and he goes, yeah, you've got really good talent on the bench. And then the reporter actually picked up on it. He goes, I can see you smiling there. Are you, are, are, yeah, you must be delighted at the youth that's coming through at the moment there. And he goes, yeah, we've got a 17-year-old boy on the bench and he, we have really, really high hopes for him. So for Jose Mourinho, yeah. who has worked with Ronaldo, you know, I'm just kind of thinking off the top of my head, Sergio Ramos, these top, top players, um, even Javier Zanetti and, and John Terry and all the like, top top players, he's seen the the best. Like some of them are up there, uh, like world best. Have arguments to be in the world eleven of all time. Yeah. Some of the players. Oh, that he's I mean, wor- he's oh, with. Oh, look, he's mad. I mean, Tottenham is probably the smallest club he's managed. Uh, and that's well, Porto. Well, no, go, well, I was going to say yeah, since he left Porto. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. even he won the Champions League with Porto. But and I mean, yeah. So I mean. Yeah, so yeah, the UEFA Cup. He um, so he has uh, he has worked with with top players. I mean, Inter, Real, Chelsea, Manchester United, you know, and the some of the best players in the world. It's it is a gamble. I mean, it is a gamble to be playing a seventeen year old. I mean, my concern is he's going to be going to Daniel Levy saying I need to sign a centre forward, a backup for Harry Kane in January. Mm, I don't think that's going to happen because so, if he does play against Bayern Munich and maybe scores, like he's he played against Juventus in the summer. Pochettino played him in you know his uh, summer tour over in the US. He played he didn't play against Bayern. Sorry, Ryan Johansson, who we're still waiting on an update by the way before people start asking in the comments. Um, Ryan Johansson played that game, actually swapped shirts with him after that game. That's, uh, but Troy had played a few games there. He obviously played in the in the, Car- it's not, uh, the Carabao Cup. Sorry, yes, Against Colchester, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So he has played, um, you know, I don't think it would phase him. He's played international friendly now as well. You know, so he's getting a lot of experience at senior level. He's training with the Spurs squad week in, week out, you know. Um, I genuinely don't think he's going to be phased if he plays against Bayern Munich. Like, whether he scores or not, that's a different thing. Yeah. But oh, no, he doesn't. I mean, for, for, for a very young man, he has remarkable composure. And, yeah, it doesn't seem to it doesn't seem to bother him. He's grounded. He's very grounded, yeah. yeah. I mean, he's a and, lovely uh, fella as well. You know, yeah. Every time we see him, he comes straight up and you shake your hands straight okay. away, a big smiley face. Oh. The, the, the thing I, th- I think about him is... He, he, he just uh, he hasn't got anything bad about him. He's a good-looking kid. He's really good at football. And he's a nice lad. He has yeah. everything there to, 
you know, so. Oli probably, probably just maybe needs to do a little bit more of, a, of media training to become a better speaking, but he's only 17, oh, so he yeah, won't be in front of the camera that much, well, hopefully. And, and I would hope nobody would give him a hard time in, in yeah. the media. I mean, certainly at that age, it's it, it's just a good news story. And it's, uh, I mean, it, it's a long time since we've had somebody starring or playing regularly. Now, I know he's not that there yet at a top six club but even England, even you know. even sp spoken out in a, in a yeah. high light i suppose as well yeah you know um but i i, I think I, I i think a lot of people have been quite quite critical now of our strikers but we could be going into the playoffs with five players playing premier league football now whether troy's playing regularly i don't know but aaron connolly okay. could be Aaron, aaron connolly probably is i know he was yeah. injured for yesterday but he's he yeah. is playing regularly now david mcgoldrick's playing regularly yeah. shane long is back in the the, the southampton team and doing well because whenever he's yeah. back or sorry since he's been back in the team they've been picking up results and callum robinson as well so that, yeah. i know the, i suppose people would say the thing is like david mcgoldrick can't buy a goal in the premier league right now he's robbed against spurs a few weeks ago um but to have the players playing at the top level because we haven't had that in so long. Five Premier League strikers essentially could be in that squad come March. Yeah, and Michael Obafemi isn't far if, away from if, the Southampton he's, first he's team. He's scoring goals. Yeah. yeah, Shane Long has probably just taken his place. You know. Um, yeah, but but between the two, then you, yeah, you, you, yeah, you definitely have, have five. Yeah. Whether he brings, you know, I'd probably almost have Sean McGuire as a left-sided kind of player um, at this rate more than a, an out-and-out striker. I think he's just, I think he's just that far behind these players now at the minute because of the level he's playing at. Not his ability, because, you know, I think he proved what he, what he can do. And um, the, the only thing I would say, Paul, you can have five strikers, but none of them are prolific at the moment. I mean, yeah, our most it. prolific Premier League goal scorers are Matt Doherty and Enda Stevens. And, um, yeah. and we're going to go on and talk about Shane Duffy but as I'm just well. Saying but I'm uh, uh, yeah. you, you know, we've yeah. had so many championship strikers and people saying, oh, they're this and they're that. But like the fact is now that we could be going in as we previously mentioned there's going to be a lot of football to be played between now and mark uh, march sorry, and and like more stuff might come up in terms of you know players or you know sometimes some, someone might stick their head out and who's playing really well and realize that they 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 can qualify for us like football's a funny old yeah. game you know two years ago i don't think we knew about Callum robinson and then yeah. he just came out of nowhere do you know what i mean and and i think him scoring that goal actually as well against um New Zealand was, was was crucial. I think he needed to get that off that weight off his shoulder. Same with Maguire. Now if a couple more of them can do that, happy days. Now they're not gonna get yeah. a chance to do it till March. But if they can produce a club level, that would be um obviously a bonus and it'd be great to see Troy get um get more game time. But I do think Marino's gonna give him more game time than Pochettino. I think that that'll show okay. now over the next couple yeah, of years. Yeah, I hope you're right and maybe maybe well, it'll not, be maybe not, it'll be a good thing. Good. Yeah. You if know. not then I'd be on uh, if I was Troy I'd be on to my agent and say, Well listen, you know, get me to a club I'm gonna play first team football. I have a I have a playoff coming up in March that if I'm playing first team football, I could be in that team. You yeah, I, I, I think there's a real chance that Troy, I mean... Maybe not the starting team. I, I, we, we, well. we could have a forward line of Aaron Connolly, David McGoldrick and Troy Parrott. Yeah. I wouldn't rule that out for Slovakia away. Yeah. Um, if Adam Eder starts playing between now and then, who knows? I'm not saying yeah. he will, but okay. who knows? But uh, he I mean, might get a move. Yeah, I, I think David McGoldrick will probably be our, our starting centre forward. I think if Aaron Connolly continues to play regularly for Brighton, he will play. Mm. And... Uh, if Troy Parrott's either playing reasonably regular, I mean, look, he's not going to take Harry Kane's place. And talking about strikers, he's one that got away. <laughs> no, well, look, mm. ah, <laughs> his yeah. family in Galway and Limerick. But anyway, it's uh, that's another story. The uh, but Troy Parrott, if he's playing either quite a bit, getting a bit of game time with Tottenham, or else possibly goes on loan in January. Yeah. Um, and and well, I mean, I think if he goes on loan, I think he has to play in the Premier League club. Yeah, I, I, I think I, either a top, I, well, he certainly has to go somewhere he'll play, and it's either a Premier League club, probably one whether one in the relegation battle would take a chance on him. I don't know, or, or else a, a top Championship club as well. But he, he probably to be playing in the playoffs in March, he probably needs to be playing men's football. I know he's doing very well for the Tottenham under twenty threes, and it was great to see him get the few minutes on on Saturday. But if we're serious about having him either starting or coming off the bench in Slovakia, I think he's got to have 
quite a bit of game time uh, up against men and being yeah. being kicked by being fouled, being kicked by men, and mm. you know, and that's it will it will significantly toughen him up. Now it will stand to him. Big it time, will yeah. stand to him. And but I, I, I think Troy Parrott certainly, if he's not starting in March, he'll be he'll be starting in September for the Nations League, or hopefully for the finals in June. Yeah. Well, yeah. the thing as well um, is that. You know, you look at someone maybe like Leeds, who are desperate to get up. Uh, someone like him went there working on the Bielters. Just, it's just an idea off the top yeah. of my head. Um, if he couldn't get Premier League, uh, a Premier League team, because you'd kind of look around. You know, I think a, a move that could maybe suit him, and I don't know how realistic this might be as well, is maybe like a Burnley with Brady and Hendrick already there. But then again, the way they play football, you wouldn't know. Yeah, I, I know mid now maybe they're not even good enough anymore, but Middlesbrough under former Tottenham and Jonathan Woodgate and Robbie, Robbie Keane. <laughs> so, so Well I'd say I'd say they're yeah. looking at that as well. I would say yeah. Robbie Robbie's, you know, not stupid. I'd and, say and he'd be looking then at they need goals. I mean that's I mean Middlesbrough are struggling in the championship mm. and it's uh, they need some they need score. And they might be out without our uh, our, num- our number the twenty three I was gonna say. Our so. number one. Whatever yeah. way you want to look at Darren Randolph, but uh, no, look, I think I think that's a fair point. Let us know your thoughts in the comments on um, the situation with Troy. We happy to see him get his debut. Um, what did you think of Jose's gesture giving him the ball? And do you think he'll start playing more regularly with Spurs, or does he need to move to stay in Ireland? Or Mick McCarthy's thoughts? Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe. We'll talk to you soon.